Brunswick High School and thanks for watching VHS TV. Nice job to the members of Coralayers and Dog Pound who performed on Friday night. Today is Monday, March 18th. I'm Nella Catalino. And I'm Rose Cruzan. And here's what's going on at VHS. Congrats to the performing arts group that competed over this past weekend. The Brunswick Open Winter Guard was at the Indiana High School Color Guard Association State Final at Center Grove High School and took second place in their class. Brunswick Winter Percussion performed at the Indiana Percussion Association Brunswick Invitational and received first place in their class. Both groups still have several performances coming up, ending with the WGI World Championship in April. Good luck! NAHS will host its March at Night this Thursday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the BHS Cafe. No supplies or experience is necessary. They hope to see you there. March 21st is World Down Syndrome Day. To celebrate all of these wonderful individuals, wear mixed mask socks to represent chromosomes and show support for the extra chromosomes of people with Down Syndrome. Thank you for your participation. If you missed the chance at lunch to sign up to donate blood on Thursday, March 21st, you aren't too late. If you are at least 16 years old, scan the QR code to schedule an appointment and help save lives. Any student who is 16 years old must have a signed parental consent form. Go to C2403 to pick up a form. Bring this form with you to your appointment. This form is not required for 17 and 18 year old students. The blood drive is this Thursday at BHS. Why do paladins wear chain mail? Why? Because it's holy armor. Right. Anyways, speaking of armor and all that, here's Clark Thornbury to talk about the D&D Club. <clears throat> you like dungeons? Do you like dragons? Do you like little math rocks with numbers on them? Then let me introduce you to D&D Club. D&D is short for Dungeons and Dragons, and it's basically like a role-playing game in the fact that you take on a character, and you live their life, you have their abilities, and you make decisions for them. And kind of like a video game where you do that for the character in the video game and the system, like the Xbox or whatever, controls what the world is, there's another person with a book and reading the story to you and they tell you what's going on. So you just kind of interact with their world. There's rules and stuff, but basically it's just the dungeon master says, here's what's happening, what do you want to do in it? And you say, I want to like, climb the rocks or I want to go fight someone. And then you just kind of resolve that with whatever rules you're using. I would describe it as imaginative experience where you can just make up things from your head and roll dice. Um, I think the best part about D&D is just getting to hang out with friends and make up funny stuff as we go. It's a bunch of just people who come together to play Dungeons and Dragons, really. Like, it's really laid back, and everyone just kind of shows up and plays. It's not, like, very strict or anything. Just It's just like playing any game with friends. What makes D&D... D&D is being with your friends and having a good time. If you're not having a good time, it, what is D&D? D&D Club meets every Friday after school until 4.30 in room C2402. Be sure to check it out if you are interested. I'm Clark Thornbury, VHS TV. Thanks, Clark. What's up, Beholder's favorite food? What? Ice cream. Get it? Because they have so many eyes. Right. Now it's time for sports. Hey, AJ, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we had a couple of teams in action over the weekend and we are very close to all of our spring teams getting underway. The girls and boys club lacrosse teams were both in action over the weekend. The boys hosted Northridge on Saturday and earned a 12-2 victory. Brennan Salzman had four goals in the match and Race McGilvery, Colton Hansen, and Brooks Walston had two goals each. Walston along with Jacob Farmer and Charlie Stewart each notched their first career goals. Congrats. They will host North Central on Wednesday. Good luck. The girls had three matches when they traveled to the region on Sunday. The Dogs had a great day going 3-0, defeating Homestead, Chesterton, and Crown Point. In the first match, the Dogs won 13-6 and were led by Anaya Jones with 10 saves. Madeline Gottlieb had five goals and Kate Richardson and Grace Kabrowski each had three. In the second match, the Dogs beat Chesterton 4-1. Anaya Jones had seven saves and Madeline Gottlieb, Kate Richardson, Bria Tubbs, and Grace Kabrowski all had goals. Finally, the Dogs defeated Crown Point 7-4. Maggie Kinman led the way in that match with two goals and an assist. Madeline Gottlieb also had two goals. The ladies will have a bit of a break now before taking on Southport in April. The boys club volleyball team was at the Fishers Invitational on Saturday and played four matches. The dogs went one and three on the day and started things off with a two to one win over Garen Catholic. Connor Duke had 22 assists and Dimitri Crudup had 18 kills in that match. The dogs had a tough time falling two to one to both Zinesville and Harrison and two and zero to Avon. Lucas Weaver, Michael Fennell, Jake Schaefer, and Will Stick all put up some good stats in those matches, though. The Dogs will be back in action tonight, traveling to Ben Davis. Good luck. Let's look ahead at the upcoming events for our spring athletic teams. 
The track and field teams will host their first outdoor meet of the season on Thursday when Westfield comes to town. The softball team will officially begin their season when they travel to Eastern Hancock tomorrow. The baseball team will host Terre Haute South for a scrimmage on Wednesday and will travel to Lawrence North for their season opener on April 2nd. The boys golf, girls tennis, and unified track and field teams will all get started in April. Good luck to all of our teams as they prep for competition. The Brownsburg boys volleyball team will be hosting a dine to donate at Buffalo Wild Wings in Brownsburg on Wednesday, March 20th. Up to 25% of proceeds will go towards Brownsburg boys volleyball on the day. Be sure to visit the B-dubs this Wednesday from 11 a.m. to midnight. The track and field teams were also in indoor action at the Pike Last Chance Meet last Saturday. We hope to get some results to share with you on Wednesday's show. That's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, AJ. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stick around for a little bit of last weekend's BHS percussion performance. We will see you on Wednesday.